I just saw African tigresses. Well, let me let this. Hi guys, I just saw African tigresses first footage of Okap, the real true one beyond the airport, and it's very powerful. I'm gonna Red as fire, orange as mangoes, yellow as banana peel, cream as vanilla, I'm in my white as snow. very um nothing exaggerated it's raw um i i'd like to see more though i i don't understand why she didn't show us her hotel room first i noticed that's something that d and myra always does because people do like to see rooms she showed us the streets instead and i know she's in a hotel i believe Interesting park. C'est moi-même qui a fait C'est moi-même qui a fait C'est moi-même qui
is a spiritual journey. I know there was a lot of prayers and she asked for prayer. So, you know, there was a lot of prayer going on and I feel the force of that prayer. Of course, you know, you know, so it's a spiritual journey because I'm feeling a lot of spiritual power within that essence. And my question is, is this a, a clean spiritual so is it a clean spiritual journey? Is it a selfish spiritual journey or just an innocent self-interest, which may not involve other people, whereas I'm just a reactor and other people are going to tell me to mind my own business, even though this is my country, you know? So I, it may be that innocent, I want to be the first Kenyan there. I won, <laughs> you won, you know, kind of spiritual journey that may in fact be able to be turned into one of humanitarianism. And I don't mean the kind of humanitarianism of material good. There is so much you can do. You might preach, you know, become a preacher, okay? But I feel like the spiritual journey may accomplish something deeper and that is to free the zombies of hate, to free us spiritually. So if you go there in prayer, I don't know. I feel if you go there in prayer, if what is it that you want exactly to accomplish is my question. Are you accomplishing getting information for the Kenyan president? to see if Haiti will be of value to them, to ignore the people. If, though I know some people may already be ignoring you because I know my experience as a dark-skinned Haitian woman. Or are you going there to free those Haitians who are suffering? I don't know why I feel that kind of deep spiritual connection with you, African Tigress. Maybe it's because somebody came and gave me the news that you were in Haiti way before um, you land, you posted your landing in Haiti tape. I know that uh, people were watching you when you said from the Bahamas that you were leaving for Haiti um, when you posted. And maybe those were the people who told me that you just got to Haiti. But I feel as if maybe it's somebody that you know who came to tell me that you got to Haiti and maybe this is why I feel that. And if so, I but I just feel as if you've discovered like some bind or tie within my spirit and this is why I feel the need to come and make this video for the power of your video your video is very powerful but it touches my spirit in a way as if it's almost personal as if the mission was a personal mission for me but of course there may be so many millions of Haitians or maybe thousands of Haitians who are also in my same situation, who may be touched by your video. You know, we're working here in the United States or maybe in France or maybe whatever, and we can't necessarily go home the manner that you travel the world in the, that kind of freedom. And the simplicity and your acceptance of the simple life, you know, of the mud and the rain, you know, despite all the glamour of the Bahamas, you know, you're not, you're not going to see that kind of glamour in Haiti, you know, you're not going to see that kind of glamour, but that's not poverty, you know, the poverty is the spirit of the people, the destruction, the division, the arrogance, that's where the poverty is. The poverty is not in the rain, it's not in the mud. The poverty is in the hate and the scorn. So I will continue watching this episode because it's powerful. Only you can do it, African Tigress. You're a Tigress indeed.
I have a few things I could suggest. One of the, my first time in Cape Kapaiti, I was an adult. I was in a child. Maybe I did go as a child because I went on field trips, but um, I, I my first time that I knew that I was in Okap, <laughs> I wasn't supposed to be there. I was trying to get home to my hometown and I got took the wrong bus. So I ended up in Cape Haiti and I did not have any hotel reservations. They were not taking anybody. What did I Yes. <laughs> Oui. Ok. Alors, vous vidéo. vous 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 Okay. Okay. On va marcher avec lentement, on va mettre une vidéo. Yeah. Parce qu'on va attendre tout parler. Hein. Ok. Lent, parce que si on fait vite, il ne va pas bien parler. Ok. Qui j'en ai Claudine. Ok. Actuellement là, moi-même, Verdiel Vétis, comme guide de Milo, alors je visité ensemble avec Claudine, Claudine dans la citadelle. C'est de la fille de la 8 e merveille du monde. Alors, actuellement, là, mes côtés le chita sous Mirai là. Sous Mirai là, tout peut faire les là. là. Côté, côté que ma vie. Là, son canal. Là, son canalisation qui sortit en l'air, qui, qui, qui transporte la gloire de ce temps bas. Alors, Claudine, qu'on est là, actuellement, là, nous pouvons rentrer en dans en la dans citadelle là. On va côté que ma visite ensemble avec Claudine. Dans la citadelle, dans la course de la terre, nous sommes là. Nous pouvons aller rentrer dans la citadelle là. Nous pouvons prendre la première porte, la première porte dans la citadelle là pour qu'on puisse rentrer. Vous voyez que nous avons gardé l'eau grande rivière du Nord, actuellement là. Qui veut dire que vous avez un route qui est allé jusque là, n'est-ce pas? Non, bon, la route ça, il était sorti dans. Et puis en bas, dans sans souci, mais actuellement là, il n'y a pas de grande route comme ça. Alors il y a une petite trace. Alors ça, c'est original route là que vous avez fait. Oui, yes, il y a cette route original là, côté qu'on est là, il y a une route. Mais où est-ce que ça a continué Où est-ce que ça a continué Parce que ça a dangereux. Ça, ou, mais là, ça a continué, actuellement là, il y a une crase. Mais c'était... Il va être plus haut. Ça, c'était le travail de travail Christophe. Mm -hmm. Un petit bagage, ça, il était fait. Mais elle n'a pas de plus haut que ça Non, non, mais elle n'a pas de pas trop plus haut que ça. Alors, actuellement, là, qu'on est là, nous devons, nous devons de trois, trois petits pièces canaux, canaux en fer. Côté que, côté que nous avons. Ça, ça, ça. ça c'est différents canaux en fer. Il y a de diverses qualités canaux. Il y a un canaux en bronze. Il y a un, ça, c'est canaux en fer. Alors, ça, là, c'est en bronze Ça, c'est en fer, actuellement, là. Alors, là nous là nous en dans cette de là. Ça aussi en fait tout le monde. Tout ça aussi en fait. Là nous en dans cette de là. Alors, Alors nous pour nous pour regarder. Nous pour qui différent et design là qui différent. Yeah. Ça c'est première partie dans cette de là. Côté côté que nous 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 camper devant là dans la course là. Ça c'est première partie. Actuellement là qu'on est là nous pour rentrer en dans cette de là. Alors nous pour le bail toute information de de dans cette de là. De dans cette de là. Alors actuellement là, mais devant, mais 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 je suis sur escalier, escalier pour pour entrer dans la citadelle. Alors qu'on est là actuellement là, mais mais Claudine Chita 
attirent là, dans l'escalier. Mettez une photo. Ok. Ok, je suis là, je vais photo pour là. I do, just in case you get in a bind, <laughs> African tigers. I slept in front of the Mary. And for safety purposes, and you're like, oh my God, how are you going to get safety in a country where there's no governance? There's people commit crimes. But anyway, I slept in, slept in front of the mayors. I don't know. I guess it's this generation because when I was young, Haitians always had civility, you know? It's like you always felt like family among fellow Haitians. But anyway, I slept in front of the Mary. And uh, what I can share about sleeping in front of the Mary is that there were other people. I didn't. I'm going to say some things in Haitian Creole, so don't mind me. I may or may not translate. Moi, suspect, peut-être même zèle al bon point, parce que vidéo a gen force en pile, l'al bon point pour million. And, um, you know, this makes me, like, I feel like, you know, like, her video is very powerful, but of course, you know, I'm always spectacle always spectacle and people are like don't say if she's a spy my question is is she a spy i mean that's a warrior's mission she's on i mean you don't like a warrior goes on such missions she's made history for you know she's made history she is the first the first woman in and you know when you look at all of the youtubers that we've been following she's actually the first one to step in okap um, Ayamara has not stepped into OCOP. So it's powerful. It's powerful what she's done. She's a great achievement. And this might make her her million. We have seen Haiti making many people her million. And this is why I'm like, Haiti's the point. But it saddens me that Haiti should be the point for so many foreigners, for Americans, for whites, you know. And yet, Haiti is not the point for so many of us blacks from Haiti. It saddens me oh, that airplane is going again. I rebuke that airplane in the name of Jesus because I I work near the airport. I work on the uh, airplane um, flights. So I'm going to let it let it go through because as I'm talking about the point about Haiti, so this airplane comes in to interrupt me. So I'm going to let it go through. It's gone. It's passed. Now another one will come let's see and my which other point you know so it saddens me to see that Haiti is a point and yet you look at the country when I look at the dirty roads I get angry because I understand why the roads there's so much litter in Okap unfortunately you know I think Okap used to be cleaner but the but the um which is like the, uh, alongside the oceans I have seen as, you know, with litter when I was there. And it saddens me because with the littering, because I know why it happens. Like I've seen those who are charismatic, they talk a lot, a lot of garbage. They're politicians. They talk so much. They get to somehow get the spirit of the people to support them and yet they are not supporting the people and the conditions in which the people live so i have voiced my opinion that haitians should get together and go to haiti and clean up but these people they think that they are better than other people so they want i've seen one who is actually a senator in one of the cities not in Ogap, of course he's in He's from Wanamet, which is which borders Okap, and you know Okap it borders the Dominican Republic. That's like very close to the Dominican Republic. Anyways, I have seen one, you know, politician. Instead of taking the initiative and and taking my advice, he felt as if I was insulting him, a medical doctor from who studied not even in Haiti, okay, in the um, in the racist country nearby is where he studied at. Uh, well, you, I'm sure African Tiger may have already noticed that Haiti is racist. She is a dark-skinned woman. I don't know if she's going to talk about it. Many people don't want to talk about the racism in Haiti, so I will continue talking about it because it has to be changed. So this person who felt he was better than others felt like you know he was too good 
for what I'm saying. I insulted him by asking him to form a coalition to clean up the, the roads and the streets of Haiti. Instead, he started like sending letters um, publicly so that we can see on social media to like, oh, like, you know, I guess the person who's like the bulletier or, you know, who's picking up garbage on the floor, they should be doing it instead of him starting a coalition because his hands are not supposed to be dirty. And this is the mentality that is destroying Haiti. We have a lot of people with this kind of mentality, despite the conditions of this country. They, it's the selfishness of, you know, locking their gates and be, living behind gates as they take from the people and then we expect the people to slave for them. And that kind of slavery where you have to work alone, you know, is of course going to ruin your health. You know, it's going to ruin your health and it will kill you. And this is one of the ways, not just by weapons, you know, but one of the ways by which Haitians are killing the good people of Haiti. So it may be sometimes difficult to find good people when you think of really the immense amount of arrogant people. But when you are able to get in touch with the good, it is amazing. Um you know, that's where you find the really good people, the really good spirit of Haiti. But sometimes you may not find it if you're, it depends on your crowd, depends on your crowd. And the sad thing is that so the good are those who are being manipulated. It's almost like they are zombies. They all have masters. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's the way it is. The really, really good Haitian person, because I do say that our people are full of love, which we are, but the ones who are, they are zombies. And um, the way they are zombies is that they are hu humble, but somebody has is using their humility to enslave them. And, and then they end up being trapped in that humility in, in jail. So um, what African Tigress is doing is really powerful, showing us the footage. She may, I mean, people don't connect with me. I don't expect them to connect with me. And a lot of people are going to come here and tell me that, I'm doing other people's videos, whereas I'm doing my own reaction. I select the videos, first of all, that I, t I invest my time in. I'm at work. I just ask for my break. And instead of eating and sleeping and resting, I am taking my break to make this video. So I am <laughs> making my own content for those of you who don't know. And this is definitely my content. This is my country. This is my spirit. When I saw that video, I felt the connection. And I felt the connection and then I prayed and I wanted to start this with prayer, but I'm like, this woman does, is not like, does not have physical contact with me for me to really know who she is, what she's about. I don't know if she went to Haiti out of love for black people or if she, or it could be a combination of all, like, you know, who doesn't want to go to Haiti to become a YouTube like millionaire, if you will, because we already know that kind of power, that kind of powerful content that she has elected. Here comes a, I'm touching on a good point here, the, the plane came again. Okay, that kind of powerful content that she has elected to, um, to cover will give her that million. Okay, because people are just gonna feel and they're gonna want to connect. Okay, and um, you know, she not being Haitian is also part of it because you're gonna have everybody wanna connect. And of course, the Haitians like myself who have been severed and disconnected because of race issues, the, the scorn, I wanna, not that I wanna connect, it's like my spirit feels that, you know. All of a sudden, it's like I, I raise goose, goosebumps, come fetch a pool. And this is where I'm like, okay, why am I raising goosebumps? And this is where I become cautious, you know? Because if I had the connection with Tiger, then I could say, oh, okay, yeah, I feel as if I'm part of this. But why am I feeling as if I'm part of this? You know, I didn't feel like I'm part of this when it, when um, Chris Musliss went to Port-au-Prince or when I and Myra was there a few years ago. But there is a kind of connection that makes me raise goosebumps to wonder, like, should I be or should I not, you know? But I, I mean, for her, she may not care. So if she doesn't care, of course, then I shouldn't be. And the question is why, right? But of course, it's my country and I, it's the power that I feel for my country that I'm 
also feeling, right? Um, and the realness, the realness of the rain, the realness of the muddy streets, um, the realness of it. And the other thing of it is what she is, that she is willing to. You know, some people, they come on YouTube, they will dance naked. But this woman, she never, she's always full dressed, always fully dressed. This is honorable. But she is taking that step to something that truly matters, that truly matters in black history. As um, she conquers the Republic of Haiti in the manner of the first country that is known to have won the victory over slavery. And the reality that we are still not free of each other, from each other. So I don't know African Tigress's true motives, but from the looks of it, she's, she looks scared. And I just want to assure her that she is getting the showers of blessing, not that of fear, as she walks the uh, muddy streets of Kabaiti. And I also think that this visit of African Tigress to our beautiful island, all right, which of course doesn't look like what people would think a beautiful island looks like, but it is beautiful in spirit and it holds all the power, <laughs> you know? Um, it is a call for us Haitians who are out in the diaspora and who are suffering hate and harm and humiliation by our own Haitian communities. You know, those who ran away because they wanted a better life. Me, I didn't run away. I, can't, I, I was brought here, as I said, by parents. So, but it is a call for those of us who are in the diaspora, who are yearning for our country. But even reminding me of when my first encounter with social media was with a group called, um, I think it's like Ruto or something. I don't remember the name. It was like a travel group where young Haitians were looking back for, to get, for connections at home because they were adopted in France. So it reminds me of this. This, this, her visit is a call for us who are in suffering, who are wanting to go back home, to unite, okay, and to return home, to build our homes. We can't go alone. She can go alone because she knows this is not her home and her home is elsewhere. But when you know this is your home, it, it's very difficult to go back alone. And of course, I also felt like on rainy days, sometimes I could feel sick. I also felt that, you know, she felt sick because this is foreign food. But of course, if she eats at the hotel, she will be okay. But who knows, it still could be foreign food for her. Um, you know, and then the rain also will make you sick. Um, and of course, the dust of Haiti. I mean, Haiti has its own or aura, which, you know, for us natives, it's just nostalgia and beautiful. But for a foreigner, I don't know how she is feeling about that. But again, this is a call for us Haitians to go home. We should go home. We should build. But of course, we can't do it alone. We can't, nobody can go by themselves and say they're going to clean the streets of Oka because then you're going to feel sick. You're going to be sick because guess what? They're going to, you know, even if you were to clean a little bit, a little piece so somebody's gonna come in litter again it takes a commu community effort the community effort that i was talking about in my reaction towards go black and haitians like that community because one person wants to be better than the other that's one of the reasons why they're fleeing the country anyway so they could look better than their neighbors instead of thinking that you know what let's be a neighborhood together they don't want to they want to have their choice and the racism makes that, you know, most of the times when they go abroad, they take the light-skinned women, they take the white women, the Spanish women, so that they can put us down, making it impossible for us to rebuild our country. So I, this is my call for Haitians in the diaspora. Let's take this example of this Kenyan woman who entered our country despite it all to be able to enter our countries together, though, not as I just can't remember the, how I went there because I know I had stayed first in my home city and then I went. But anyway, so it be it. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Um, we, we have beautiful beaches. I guess I'll post a picture in this video or of the beach so you can see. I don't know if I want to extend. By the way, there are churches where you can sleep at <laughs> for free. And 
they have, I think, crowd safety, what you would call it. Do I want to extend to you the offer of a church? Uh, I have reservations. You're scared also, and Haitians do practice voodoo. <laughs> Um, more so in this generation, I think, than it was in my mother's generation. Because this generation, they just take whatever the foreigners tell them and then they do it. So they practice it. And you might think something is a church and is not. <laughs> FYI. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just talking just so that you can watch the footage that I'm leaving. Um,